Hi guys, welcome back to Fandemonium. I'm here with my friend and horror expert, Clark Wolf. We are talking all things horror. We're talking about 2016. I want to talk about the small screen yes. because I have been really excited to see horror as a genre really expand and grow over the last few years in the small screen space, whether it's on television, on, on networks, mm -hmm. or on streaming services. What are some of the shows you're most excited about? What are some shows you've been following from the beginning? What are some shows that are maybe faltering a little mm -hmm. bit? Give me your take as an expert on the landscape of the small screen and horror. Well, I am with you, Mary. I love genre on television. For the longest time, yes, we've had a great year this year for studio uh, horror films, but people would always ask me, where are all the good horror movies? And I'd say, they're on TV. <laughs> you have to be watching genre on television. Mm -hmm. For me, I was a huge fan of Penny Dreadful. Yeah. Um, I was very sad to see it come to an end this spring. However, the first two seasons are on Netflix, and I'm having so many people tell me, I finally got to watch it, and it's so good. Yeah. Eva Green, like anything she does. Oh, she's I'll watch. amazing. The entire cast is fabulous. Um, the other big show that stood out to me this year is Outcast. Mm -hmm. Robert Kirkman's Outcast, which is on Cinemax, based on his comics. Um, that show is so good. I I am such a fan because you know it is on pay cable, so it's able to take the scary elements a little bit further, but at mm -hmm. the same time, it really and truly is a family drama. This right. is a story about a man and his family. Uh, and, and I love it. I love all the weird mythology that's sort of there, but at the end of the day, it's a character drama, and that's why it's my fave. Awesome. Um, so yeah, it's it's generally a great time to be a horror fan, especially when it comes to TV. And oh, Stranger Things. We should talk about Stranger Things. All day, I'll talk about it all day. <laughs> I mean, yes. I'm I'm so excited. So I had the opportunity to visit the set earlier the, in this year. I saw what they were doing, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be people are gonna love this. Mm -hmm. And um, and I'm so glad that people are responding to it because the truth of the matter is this, um, this type of a throwback show that really is an eight hour movie, it hadn't been done before. And the Duffer Brothers had pitched this show or this film or this concept all around and Was people- it like 20 networks yeah, said no? Yeah, they all yeah. said no. You can't make a show starring kids, it's not a kids show. You know, all of these different uh, types of things. And I'm so glad that they proved everyone wrong because I think that at the end of the day, the enduring genre properties, whether it's film or television, it's the characters that yeah. you love that, that make it extra scary and that mm -hmm. make you want to come back for more. And I think Stranger Things is a perfect example of that. I love that show. I like looking at shows that have a little bit of a longer shelf life, like American Horror Story yes. or um, you know The Walking Dead. How do you feel about how those shows have developed and evolved? And now that there's more people or more titles crowding the space, how are these shows reacting and evolving? Well, I think American Horror Story set the bar, especially in terms of anthology. Mm -hmm. You know, this, bringing anthology back, obviously American Horror Story wasn't the first anthology show ever made, but I do think that they sort of um, reignited people's interest in mm -hmm. an anthology series. And as a result, Hulu is doing an anthology show and Tales from the Crypt is coming back and the CW has been trying to do Tales from the Dark Side for a million years. So mm -hmm. I'm actually, I'm loving um, Jessica Lange her departure, I think, really has allowed for American Horror Story to grow uh, grow new legs, so to speak. Um, as far as The Walking Dead goes, you know, fans are fans have been on a roller coaster, obviously, uh, and it'll be very interesting to see how it, how everything plays when it returns in October, especially after that cliffhanger. How do you feel about when adaptations are done from something that's really old into something new, and how does that fit into the small screen? Like Stranger Things is almost a pastiche of mm -hmm. so many influences. When does it work and when does it not work within the horror genre? Well, I think, you know, the idea that you can actually spend time in these worlds, so uh, to be completely honest with you, I don't think Stranger Things would have worked as a movie. Yeah. I do think that there was more story to tell, but also you really do need to build this world. You need to adjust an audience in 2016 who has no frame of reference to not having a cell phone and what is a typewriter and why is there, I guess they understand record players because they're back now, but <laughs> you, you know, like, oh, I feel gosh. like it takes time to, to get people, to get people re, um, re, re excited and, and just um, into this world, reestablished yeah. into this world. Mm -hmm. So I'm all for bringing, um, bringing time periods into, you know, bringing the past into the present. Because I think for horror especially, we've seen it with The Conjuring, we've seen yeah. it with a handful of other titles, not having technology at every, you know, at every turn is actually a great storytelling device for genre. So I'm all for it. I want to see more period horror. Cool. 
Well, that's all the time we have for now, but we will be back with more Fandemonium. And if you want to know, I mean, I could listen to Clark talk about horror all day. So if you want to hit her up, you can. Clark, where can people find yes, you? Yes, you can find me uh, online at Clark Wolf, Clark with an E, Wolf with an E, and on Collider Nightmares on Collider Video every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you. Thank you.